Hi, I'm Alex Abder Isaac and I work in the worldwide IBM education team based out of the United Kingdom. In this series of small movies, we are going to see how to configure, administer, and monitor a PowerHA cluster using version 7.1. Before we jump into the actual configuration, first you let me introduce you to my test environment. We have two virtual servers split across Power 7 750s. Each server is running AIX 7.1 and HA 7.1 service pack 3. Remember it's always important to have the latest service pack installed before starting. As each node is virtual we only need one Ethernet adapter per node. This is shown on the diagram as the production network. Remember a virtual adapter is not real and therefore is not a single point of failure. In this case the single point of failure is the hypervisor so having multiple virtual adapters does not make any sense. In this example, the network resilience is offloaded to the virtual I.O. server. The virtual I.O. server configuration is not shown in the diagram for clarity, and PowerVM configuration is outside of the scope of this video. I have configured two SAN disks, or LUNs. HD6 will be used as the cluster-aware AIX repository disk. The AIX kernel is now cluster-aware and stores critical configuration data on this single disk. PowerHA 7.1 is the first version to use the CAA infrastructure. The CAA disk can be physical or virtual. In my example, it is virtual. In fact, both LUNs are presented using endpoint virtualization technology. The application I shall be clustering today is a simple C application called Grumpy. Grumpy is available to download in LPP format from my website, lpar.co.uk. But I stress, do not run Grumpy on your production servers. If you're wondering what the blue network, VLAN 3358, is there for, it is used for the new 7.1 based serial or non-IP non communications. This is only required if the CAA disk is virtual. In previous HA versions, disk heartbeating was typically used. This has now been replaced with SAN fabric based communications. This is similar in concept to target mode SSA or target mode SCSI for those that are old enough to remember this technology. Basically serial based communications are passed through VLAN 3358 to the VIOS server which actually performs the SAN based communications on behalf of the cluster node. Why 3358 you ask? This is a rather strange number. I've heard a rumour it is the birthday of the developer. And on that note, let's proceed. 